So I just want to talk about the guy that, uh, excuse me, damn your concussion. It's March 13th, he did it. It's been what, two weeks now? Two weeks, whatever it is. I wasn't sure whether or not to go to the police. They kept on calling me to ask me to come down to identify the guy. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do that because I knew who the guy was, but you know, when you do stuff like that, sometimes um, it comes back to even worse. Yeah. So I was trying to like see how bad of a concussion, how bad of a loss of hearing, or how bad of a oof, I don't know, brain trauma he gave me. I remember a lot of the incident. I remember him coming up behind me and choking me, and then I think, but then he pushed me against the other car, and I kind of fell. That's where I got the concussion. But I was when I went to the police because I ended up going to the police because you know. I wasn't sure, but for it later at the end, I was like, you know what, this guy really fucked me over, man. <laughs> he took away my fucking hearing. He took, he put me in the hospital for four days. He fucking gave me a concussion, and and, and he bruised four of my ribs in the back of my butt, and my back on the right hand side. So I'm feeling that pain every fucking day, right? So I said, you know what? <laughs> do I really want him to do this to anybody else? No. Do I want him to feel some kind of like punishment for, for doing this to me that I didn't do shit to him that, that, that I deserve this? I was only nice to him and his family. Him and his brother and his brother in law, his stepbrother and his sister and his wife, whatever she is. It was three of them. I lived together in a hotel that I met. And the friend, the one guy, his, his stepbrother I knew, I met him in a, one of the mental institutions. And, you know, so I've known him for a while. So, yeah, year over year. Did I think he was going to come up behind me and fucking choke me and, and, and almost kill me? No, I didn't think he was going to do that. If I did, I would have gotten the fuck away from them and him a long time ago. But I didn't. So I said, you know what? Fuck it. At this point, he's going to have to be, he's going to have to pay what he did. Pay them. He don't pay, no, nobody pays me because my insurance doesn't cover, you know, only only 80% of what will happen to me. And and, and, and me having that right now, I got to go get my ear drained at one of these specialists that, that saw me. And uh, I have to make sure that I have in cash or enough in the credit card to go to the to the doctor. If, if it's going to be 20%, they already told me when I called to make a fucking appointment that to get my ear drained, drained, I have to make sure that I have the 20% that my insurance doesn't cover. If they don't have it in cash that day, they're not going to do it or whatever. They're, they're not going to let me go. I don't understand. I don't know what, I don't know what, but he said, you have to have it for sure. So I can't, I still can't hear it out of this shit. I'm trying every day to get it unclogged, but it's, there's got to be blood stuck in there. That's what the guy said. He's going to have to drain the blood out of it. So. so I went. I told the guys, the cops, everything I, I know that happened. And they corrected me because I didn't remember this. They said they saw the video. And they have a video of, 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 of us, but they have a clear picture of him, though, supposedly. I don't know. And they saw, they saw him coming up behind me, choking me, putting me in some kind of choker hold that, that made, me, made me lose consciousness. That's when he then threw me to the floor. I hit my head and my fucking back on the floor. Not my car, but the floor. That's when then they called the police. I mean, the, the ambulance, because I was passed out. During that time, they took my earring and my watch. I thought it was them that took me in, but the police said, no, 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 you had him on when you were left. So now the hospital, after, even though I told the hospital, I'm missing a, a watch and an earring. Oh, this is all you brought in here, which was nothing. They had nothing of mine. My, 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 my wallet, not my phone. It was all left there. My keys to, to, the, to, to my car, which the keys to the car. The other gentleman that I knew, not the one who choked me, but... His stepbrother actually took my fucking car and used it for a week. He actually took it to the railroad and tolls and fucking got a fucking easy pass violation. 
I just got the I got it in, in my, my in the mail in my own house. I got fifty two dollars for, for 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 an EC pass violation on that same day that I was in the hospital at five o'clock. Go figure. I was in the hospital about eleven thirty. So so, yeah. To my keys and using it without my. Oh, he said, "Oh, I called you at the hospital." I, I if you did, I didn't remember because I was I was fucking almost brain dead. I was gonna let you in my car. I drive it around. Now you can put gas in it. Really? I think I don't get a, get a toll violation. <laughs> Sorry. They said that you know. So I gave a description, and the next day they had me come in and. Look at some mug shots and, and there he was. I don't really know his name. I don't know his name now. I just know his brother's name. Stepbrother's name, excuse me. Not not his his name. Right, anyway. <laughs> and there you go. I gave him the, 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 the things and lo and behold, they arrested him. Today, they arrested him. Yeah, and I got some something from the mom of the court system saying that, oh, you're you're a victim's on a victim's list, and we're gonna let you know what happens to him, and uh, you know he might get out, he might be put on probation, or I mean, put, a, put you know, released without without any bail. You're gonna release the guy after he almost killed me. You're gonna release the guy, and now I gotta worry about him fucking coming at me, coming coming finding out where I am, destroying my car, fucking up anything about me. These people can do anything to me at this point. That when I'm sleeping, they can come and fuck up my car, right? They can find out what hotel room I'm in and fucking, I don't know, fucking put it in the vent. Whatever they want, they want to fucking do at this point. Because the one thing about this guy, I realized, he's, he's, he's not just an angry person, he's also a fucking revengeful person. So, you know, is he going to seek revenge on me? I don't know. Do I have to watch my back everywhere I go now? Yeah. Does he have friends that might, might come, come around and, and, and decide to fucking kill me? I don't know. I, I I mentioned that to the police officer. Oh no, that's probably that's not a problem. You don't have to worry about that. Really? So I'm not sure if he's, he's in prison now or if he was released on on his own reconnaissance. R O R. It's called, right? Because if that's the case, then uh, I'm kind of stuck. And yeah, I'm in a hotel room tonight because my back hurts and my ear hurts and my head hurts. And all this shit's fucking hurts, and, and and I cannot go to the back to the fucking doctors that fucking saw me at the hospital, but they cost they're gonna cost me twenty percent, and you know those doctors, you know they're they're, they're going at four hundred dollars an hour, you know. So my visit is four hundred dollars, so I'm gonna go with eighty dollars just to get out of the fucking office, man. And that eighty dollars that I give to the doctors there, cash, that's gonna be eighty dollars that I could have spent on a hotel room. So somebody posted, oh, uh, on one of my cousins, oh, what happened? What happened to the guy that uh, that uh, that jumped you? Ha ha! Let's, let's hear about that. Ha ha! Yeah, you, yeah. Here's a fucking story about that. He was arrested today. He might be out on reconnaissance, and now I got a fucking fear that him gonna he's gonna seek revenge on me. And what are the police gonna do? Oh, well, if he does, just call. Oh, that's what the woman said. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna issue we're gonna we're gonna request requested you requested uh, that the judge issue a a a a a a a do not do not do not do not you know do not come near me whatever that shit's called that that you know restricted whatever that shit's called when he can't come near me what does that mean he can come near me from the back from the darkness. He can come in me with a fucking mask on. He can come in me with anything. And then all I got to do is get, hopefully survive that encounter so that, so that I can call the police. And they go, oh, he did it again. The only thing about the guy who strangled me, he was a good bullshit artist because he, he befriended me. He was in a friend's sense. He, oh, hey, hey, you're a cool guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden, he's choking me the next day. So, so that, that tells me he's a good bullshit artist. Maybe he can bullshit his way out of, of doing, saying what he did to me. But at this point, I have, this year is clogged. I feel like literally I have, you know, I tried the earwax removal shit. I'm going to probably go, I try, try to get some peroxide now and stick it in there and see if that works even better than the earwax shit. Uh, that's all you can really do for this, this kind of stuff, right? Yesterday I felt really sick for some reason. <laughs> 
I mean, really sick. I mean, I was like almost like fucking nauseous, man. And I thought it might have been like maybe they poisoned me or something, man. These people, like, you know, you never know because the brother was calling me. He's, oh, I thought you weren't going to say anything. And I was like, yeah, but you know, I, I, I didn't work out that way, bro. I'm sorry. But you know, your stepbrother just tried to kill me. And, and you know what? I can't hear it out of my ears. Oh, but you said something. You know, and I had I hung up on him because basically he was telling me, oh, you, you, you could, well, you told me you weren't going to say anything. So, you know, so what, what, what happened with that? He's like, well, I realized that your brother fucking almost killed me and, and took my hearing away from me. And, and, and left me with something with four bruised ribs. I broke my ribs eight, two years ago working for fucking Lee, fucking silly, filling off a roof for that, for that, for Mr. Lee, that fucking uh, uh, Jameson, Leaf Jameson, that fucking, that, 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 that hired me and told me to go to a certain area of the, of the thing and, and to scrape off some paint. And that area fucking was, wasn't stable, so I fell off the fucking roof. I never sued him for that shit, but that's, and I broke my ribs and my wrist two, two, two years ago, right? So I know very, very much how, how painful it is to have broken ribs. Well, he just bruised, either re broke or bruised, definitely four of them on this side. And it's painful, man. Yesterday I was so fucking nauseous. I had to get a hotel room. I, got, I, I couldn't be in the street somewhere. Because if either that, I was going to have to go to the hospital. And I did not want, I did not want to go in that fucking hospital again. Please. They did not take care of me. In that fucking hospital. I came out with a fucking with an ear that that that's that's clogged and 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 and, and I, I don't know. I had a fractured skull, so so I don't know if that healed properly or not. I'm supposed to go to these doctors uh, outside of the hospital where I'm going to have to pay twenty percent to go. So I don't know how to do it. I don't know, I don't know. Every little bit of money that I that I make selling my instruments, I end up using for food, for 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 shelter, or for gas for my car because the gas we've got the gas in the car. If I, now if I stay two days sleeping in my car, guess what? That's forty. That's that's forty dollars a gas. Forty dollars of gas. So it's either eighty dollars in a room I spend the night, or forty dollars in gas I spend the night, just to sleep in the car <laughs> and live in the car. And, you know, it's still cold out there, so I gotta do something. <sighs> Especially with broken ribs and my head. So that's my situation up to now. The person was uh, that did this to me, and I would say his name, but you know what? I'll, I'll skip it right now. If he, but if he does come at me again, if he does do something that happens to me again now, because I've never had this happen to me. I've been in Lasbury for fucking 12 years, 11 years here in this area, and this has never happened to me. I never got jumped and somebody strangled me and almost killed me. So if it happens again in the next couple of days, I'll know who it is, no, way, no matter what. He's the only one that supposedly that I did something wrong to. And the only thing I did wrong to him is going to go to the police about him fucking almost killing me. Get it? This is what street life is. This is what being homeless is. yip de doo Thanks. Thanks, uh, 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 my ex-girlfriend. Thanks, my sister. And thanks, that, that asshole, David Ziegler. And thanks uh, very much to those people that, that, that had my, uh, that threw me out of my, my, uh, my center. You know, the, the people that, 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 that claim themselves to be lords of the land. And those lords of the land said, "You shall not sit. You should not pay. You should not sit. You should not be in this in this in this place anymore." That Mother Earth uh, sold to me. Mother Earth sold them that fucking piece of the property, so they can fucking so they can sell it off to other people. Yeah. Those assholes that fucking took away, you know, evicted me fucking back in uh, in August, and because since then I wasn't able to do any more work. Actually, I wasn't really able to work after the first the first time they fucking sent me to a, to a psych ward. But after that, it's just kind of like you know. What was it going to I mean, I didn't, I didn't feel like doing anything else at that point. I got beat up by cops in, in, in Bradley Beach. I got, I got, you know, I got fucking, my, my center been taken away from me. You know, I got sent to a psych ward a bunch of times. I got fucking, I got thousands, I got, oh, I, I, I mean, oh, about $1,500, if not more, of uh, fines in Bradley Beach that I can't, I can't afford to pay. I haven't paid, so now I might have a warrant against my, because I, I couldn't pay that. Yeah, so, okay, well, I went to the court. Oh, the noise complaint again. Oh, okay, all right. How much? Okay, I guess I'll pay. It. Okay, bye. And tomorrow you're gonna have to go. Okay, tomorrow I'll go. I'll, I'll log in and, and pay it through through the internet. No, I won't. Cause I don't have any fucking money. I haven't had any fucking money for a while. Not enough to do that. Now, not not to think of. I'm gonna pay the court or live. See, as I was. Uh... So um, that's the story of uh. uh... Uh, the end of the end of uh, the 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 let's see the final outcome of the uh, of the person that that uh, that choked me almost killed me on March thirteenth um, because um, 
Right. Maybe it was told by some parasites to kill me, you know what I mean? Because the billionaire class doesn't like me anyway. I'm sure it doesn't. All right, so, uh, oh yeah, and then, and again, now I'm just, I'm just waiting to see if it gets our, 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 our eyes are going to come find, try to find me, and try to fuck up my car. They know my car, where my car is. They, they know what to do with my car. They, if they need to, they know where the, the hotel that I, that I end up staying at because it's the cheapest hotel out here that, that I can get a decent room in and nobody bothers me, so. But, I don't know. Adiós, people. Have a buen día.